Well, hello everybody. It's Stay Four, and we're back again today with yet another episode in our YouTube Let's Play series. And I do say our because this is our world, not just mine. Any comments or suggestions or things you particularly want to see in this Let's Play, by all means, you know, leave a comment down below. I try to read all of them, or you can send me a message on something you may want to see uh, done that you may not understand or you just want to see because it looks cool. Whatever it is you want. All right, so as you can see, I did a little work off camera. I went and got a whole bunch of different types of wood, and I'll get to why I did that in a little bit. So I went exploring for a while. I went exploring for a little while. Also, what I did was I built all those furnaces so I could kind of macerate up, or not macerate, but furnace up uh, some of these uh, iron blocks and tin and copper that we got. I also made a bit of rubber and all that type of stuff. So we're going to get ready to make some machines. We're going to get ready to make some machines. Oh, and before I forget, I forgot to mention this in the uh, first episode. There was a world download that has the blank world. All right, so you don't have to worry about, you know, putting in the seed or anything like that. You can download the world uh, file and go ahead and play along right with me if you so choose to. I'll make sure to link it again in the info section on this one just so everybody knows, you know, hey, it's here. But here is what we're going to do. We're going to go make our house. All right, so we're, I found a place, and as you can see, there's a waypoint way off in the distance there. That is where I am going to make our house. And the other thing I did today is I woke up this morning... And I'm like, oh, I'm hungry, you know? When you get out of bed, and you're like, oh, damn, I'm just hungry. And so I logged into Minecraft, and I'm like, oh, dude, I don't have any food. So I went and killed a bunch of pigs. Well, to further add insult to injury, I went and had some bacon for breakfast. So, yes, it hasn't been a good day for pigs in Minecraft or in the real world. Because, oh, but it tasted so damn good. Oh, let me tell you. The bacon. Oh, Especially for breakfast. All right, we're going to pop over here, and I'll show you the area that I've kind of selected out for where we're going to build. It's a good little area, and there's a couple reasons why I selected it. One is because it's on a nice flat terrain inside some of these uh, little upper hills or mountains or however you want to call them. So we'll get on over here, and there's also a lot of animals over there. So we'll be able to set up a farm here very, very quickly so we don't have to worry about food. But the other reason is there's also a lava pit right over here right over here we'll get there we'll get there there it is so this is the area that I'm thinking I'm gonna probably build our first house and I say our first house because I go through usually many iterations of how our house is going to look but here's the area good little scenery we're right by the uh, jungle biome we're right by the uh, the swamp biome over here and if you look on the mini map in that upper right hand corner you're also gonna see some red stuff over here because there is an above ground lava pool so this will work too. We'll use this lava to kind of, um, you know, do some stuff with. We might use geothermals. We might use it for other uh, things like forestry engines or anything like that. But I thought this was a pretty good area to kind of set up shop. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to start building our house. Now a lot of this I'll do off camera. We'll kind of start clearing some land here while I'm still kind of talking. But we're going to make a decent sized house because I don't like to... You know, I'm not the type of person that really likes to, you know, build houses over and over again. So we're going to make a good-sized house to begin with. All right? And this is what's going to store all our IC2 machines, which I plan on getting into today. Uh, we'll get our IC2 machines set up. And um, what else will we probably do? Well, IC2 machines, and then we'll see kind of where we're at. Oh, don't you... Di where did you come from? Where did you come from? Oh, yeah, there was one other thing over here, the reason why I picked this spot, is there is quite a few caverns. Quite a few caverns over here for us to explore. A good little area right here, and there was another one right off to the other side over here as well. For us to kind of explore and kind of do a little bit more spelunking to get some more resources and everything. So, the location of this is absolutely prime. I mean, you can't ask for a better area, you know, close to, we've got our water source right here, we got good scenery. We've got a uh, lava source back in the... Uh, the back over here and then we also have some caves for mining so everything's really convenient for us we'll be able to kind of get this stuff done here but this is going to be about about big enough for our house about big enough for our house so why don't i go ahead and i'll get the house started and then when i come back we'll kind of finish it up so i won't show all the house building but i'll show some of it and then we can kind of see how it shapes up so i've got a pretty good design in mind on how i'm going to build this house uh, for our very first starting house and on only our second day, I think it's going to look pretty good. So I will be back here in just a minute. All right, we are back. 
and I got a house made. It's a little basic house here. I end up having to go get more wood, which is way, way over there, like a thousand blocks that way to get the dark wood, but I got it done. So here's our house. Kind of basic, kind of basic, but I kind of used a little bit different designs than I normally do. I kind of get it all set up, put some torches up in here and all that type of stuff. So we got some torches around. I had to make a chest because I needed some more stuff. But uh, there we go. So this should uh, work for our starting house here. I used uh, some different color wood shades on the, the bottom here. And if you don't know how to make those, then, well, there's no help for you, my friend. But basically, all you do is you use, like, jungle wood is a different color, dark wood, light wood regular wood is all a different color shade of wooden planks so we got this all set up I think this will this will end up working pretty well as far as uh, our first house is concerned so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna head back over here and I'm gonna start transferring this all our stuff over so actually you know what before I go over there I should probably probably should probably and th just to, as a note these zombies keep on dropping me these beautiful iron shovels I've now got two of them very, very nice of them. They're looking out for me. But I should probably end up uh, dropping everything in our inventory here. Just go like this. There we are. Beautiful. Give us a little bit of um, space to kind of take all of our stuff over. So we're going to grab our, everything over here. Now, I didn't uh, record the building uh, part of it just because it gets kind of boring and I really don't know what I'm going to talk about while I'm just like um, building that. And it didn't take you long. This took, in all honesty, it took probably like 15 minutes. To, to get all that done, plus another 10 minutes to actually go get the wood again. But, um, so we're going to hop over here. And now our next step after we get everything transferred is to start populating our house with some machines. We need some machines. So I think my plan is right now is we'll get uh, a extractor. We'll get an extractor for our, um, our resin to turn it into rubber. And then I'll also get uh, a macerator or two and probably a couple electric furnaces. And also a generator and a battery box is kind of what I'm looking for as far as machines right now. And if you're thinking to yourself, what the heck is he talking about? Generators, macerators, extractors. What is all this? Well, we will get into it. It's part of industrial craft. Probably the first machines you ever want to make if you have industrial craft installed. Um, basically, these machines make your life very easy or easier. I shouldn't say very easy. Oh, there it is. See, I got these lovely waypoints set up now so I don't get lost anymore. Pop through here, get out of our little cave area that lasted for a day, and kind of start tearing all this stuff down. Let's just go ahead and grab all this stuff out of here. And I'm going to have to make some new tools in a bit because I kind of wore my stuff down. Just kind of grab all this stuff. As you can see, I summoned in our command emblem and doggy charm. Uh, if you don't know, uh, whenever you start having a new client, and the very first world you'll get those summoned. They're supposed to summon in for you. But any subsequent world after that, they will not they will not be uh, auto-spawned on your character. They're supposed to be. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, so if you have like a, a client with multiple worlds and you don't get the Command Emblem and Doggy Charm, oh, they're back in the chest. The Command Emblem and Doggy Charms, this is for Doggy Talents mod. Just go ahead and summon them in. And you will be good to go because the um, doggy charm is what will actually summon your pup for you. You get your first pup free. And then the command emblem is what you use to tell it who to sick. So that's kind of what we do. So let me kind of run over here. Get this done. Notice this beautiful scenery as we go along. See, I've, I've eaten a lot of my bacon already. And it's not really bacon, but our pork chops, I guess. We'll call it bacon. We'll just call it bacon. Pork chops are now officially named bacon for the rest of the series. If I don't say pork chops, or if I don't say bacon, or what, never mind. We'll just forget I just said anything. All right. Go over here. And now I'm going to have to do some landscaping around here, which I'll de definitely do off camera, just to kind of make it look a little bit better. But the house, I think, turned out pretty decent for our first house. Now, granted, you probably want to use stairs on the side here, but when I put the, I tried, like, did I try one stair? Oh, no, because the stairs are this color, and I just didn't think that would really go right, and it would look kind of odd. I mean, they don't have the different color stairs yet, so, you know, you know, it's just like, yeah, you know, so I just didn't add it. Now, where I'm actually going to, let's grab, since we have all these extra planks from the building, I'm going to go ahead and build a uh, few chests here, just so we have some chests to kind of start off with. We'll grab these, and of course, we're going to upgrade these to iron chests. Iron chests is a beautiful mod that allows you to upgrade your chest, have a little bit more convenient storage. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our chest room in here. 
The one in here? Yes. I think this would be a good spot for our chest room. So I'm just going to go ahead and start laying chests down so that we can kind of, you know, throw our items in here. We'll have like a an ore chest, you know, something like this where, you know, all our ores and everything go. We'll have a dust chest. And where's our ores? Here we go. Grab our ores. I kind of divide them up uh, basically like ores in a certain chest. And, you know, this is to start off with. Later on, you know, I do a chest for like almost every item just because you can. No, really, other reason. Just because you can. So, and the music's playing again. Gosh, I love this music. Ah. Oh, ooh. Scaredness. It's a, sun, it's a thunderstorm. And guess what? I don't have a, uh, I don't have a bed over here. Alright. Well, luckily, there happen to be some sheep over here that we can kill real quick to make another bed. Because I'm too scared to run over there too scared to run over there during the storm. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. I need a bed, guys. I'm sorry. Your fur or your wool is going to a good cause. It's so I can sleep through a storm. That's what's going to happen. Oh, dude, I love storms. Actually, I really don't. Ah! Let's go inside. There we go. Let's make another bed. And I need some wood. Give me some wood. Here we are. Beautiful. There we go. Go ahead and make us one more bed. And this is very odd for me to actually be sleeping indoors. For those of you that, that don't get it, it's just because usually I make really nice houses and really nice like buildings, and then I put my bed like outside. I, I don't know why I do it. I just do it just because. All right, let's grab all our dust out of here and gems. Dust and gems can go in probably a, a chest by themselves. Grab this stuff out of here. Uh, and, well, I guess it would help if we had a... Another couple chests. Here we go. Now these chests will not last very long because very, very soon, as soon as I get uh, the Mace Raiders up and everything, I will be switching to, uh, what should I call it? Iron chests. Iron chests and then into gold. And those are single chests that can stack right next to each other. So let's grab this one. And we'll just plop this down right here. So right here, I'm going to put my coal put our coal and our appetite in this chest, alright? That kind of makes sense. All our dust and all that type of stuff, like dust, lapis lazuli, you know, gems could probably go in here, all that. And uh, diamonds we'll just throw in the ore chest. Sure, because that makes perfect sense. There we go. And then this will become our poopy chest. I always have a poopy chest in every world. Got to have a poopy chest, and the poopy chest is just where you put all the unwanted stuff. All the stuff that you just don't use. We'll end up having chests for cobble and dirt and all that type of stuff. But let's kind of make our way. And the storm's done. Look at that. You magically go to sleep and the storm's gone. Storm's gone. So we'll go grab our other stuff here. Let me go finish collecting everything and bring it on over. And then when I get that done, I'll start the video back up. And we'll get to making some stuff. So we'll be back here in just a minute. All right, everybody. We are back. The move is complete. We are now moved over into our new shack, our little humble abode. So we're going to go ahead and start making some of our IC2 machines. Now, IC2 machines, think of them as like a furnace, but with specific intents. Basically, instead of just throwing everything into like a furnace to get it smelted into something, an extractor is like a furnace for resin. A, a, a macerator is a furnace for the iron ores. You know, and it just kind of works somewhat like that. All right, so that's how we're going to kind of somewhat explain how IC2 machines work. Now, the first thing that you're going to need for any IC2 machine is you need, they need power. All right, they need to run on power. Whereas, like furnaces, they run on coal. These run on actual electricity, which you need to build a machine that produces electricity. So the first thing we're going to do is build a generator. Now, since I have the Trains and Zeppelin mod, you're able to use steel ingots in these recipes. We're not going to. We're not going to be using steel ingots in our recipes. We're going to be using the IC2 recipes. So the first thing that we need is you can do two types of crafts for the generator. You can do an iron furnace with three refined iron and a rechargeable battery. Or you can do a regular furnace with a machine block, which is eight pieces of refined iron and an RE battery. The same amount of iron is used in both recipes. The difference is, is you need five more refined iron for this one and this one is just five pieces of regular iron and three refined iron so this is the recipe we're going to use the so one re battery 
three refined iron, and an iron furnace. Use this one because you use less resources. So I've already got one piece. We're going to go ahead and grab a couple more pieces of refined iron out of here. Throw that in there. Uh, a couple other things that we're going to need in order to make a battery. Let's go ahead and bring that back up here. To make a rechargeable battery. Whoa, and it doesn't want to show. Why don't you show? Why don't you show? Well, I know the recipe. Basically what it is is it's two pieces of tin or four pieces of tin, excuse me, two pieces of redstone, and then an electrical cable on top. To make electric cable, you can just go like this, put three pieces of copper in the middle, you get six copper cable, all right? Now, to make a battery, put one on top, two pieces of tin on the side, two pieces of redstone in the middle, we've got our first RE battery. Oh, that's why it's not showing it, because it was listing a full one. You don't need a full one. You can use an empty one. So that's why I wasn't showing how to craft a rechargeable battery. But there we go. So we have our rechargeable battery. All right. Next thing that we're going to need is we're going to need these two pieces of refined iron. Now, again, remember that I said that we're going to use the uh, second recipe there. So to make an iron furnace, just put five pieces of iron in here. Get our iron furnace. See, you don't have to then smelt these. You don't have to smelt these and get a machine block. Put your three pieces of refined iron, our rechargeable battery on top. Oh, look at that. We got our generator. All right. Here's how the generator is going to work. We're going to go ahead and throw this in the corner here. Um, actually, I think it's going to end up going here. Let's just move you. All right. This is where I'm actually going to throw my generator. Now, you might be asking, well, Stay, why did you put that on top there like that? That just looks dumb. Because under here, I'm going to be putting a battery. But we'll get to that in a moment. So you open up here. This runs on coal, charcoal. Let's go ahead and sleep here real quick before we get too many spawns going in. I don't want too many spawns coming in outside, creepers coming in, zombies knocking at our door, all that type of stuff. But the generator will run on any type of fuel source. The most common ones you're going to use are coal, charcoal. Uh, you can use coal cokes from Railcraft. That'll go ahead and pop in here. Um, you can also use compressed coal from IC2 and all that type of stuff. But the most common thing you're going to use is coal, charcoal. Any type of fuel source will really, really run in a generator. Well, look at this guy. Hi. How you doing? What's up? You just chilling underneath my roof there? That's okay. That's okay. Let's go ahead and move this as well here. Because this is our place where we're going to kind of make all our stuff. Now the next item that I need to make is an extractor. Alright, remember we talked about the extractor earlier. That's what turns our resin into rubber. So to make an extractor, again, I'm going to bring it up in, in um, the uh, NEI so we can kind of show the... Uh, the recipe. Now this one we actually do need a, need a machine block. We need four of those tree taps that we made earlier. Easy enough. And an electrical circuit. Electric circuits, just plan on using these a lot. Just plan on using these a lot. Alright, so you need six copper cables. We already know how to make that. Another refined iron and two pieces of redstone. So we're going to need a total of nine. Nine refined irons. So let's just go ahead and start this up here. And we want to go one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. There we are. Get this kind of started and going here. And while that's going, I'm going to run over here, grab some wood. Here we are. Oh, that's not going to be enough. So we're just going to grab a few pieces of wood here. That should be good. Go ahead and turn this into planks. And then pop back over here. I need four of those tree taps. Four of those tree taps. There we go. One, two, and then just click like that. There we go. So we now have our four tree taps. All we're waiting on is um, we're going to need a little bit more copper cable again. So we'll just go like this. Go ahead and make a couple sets here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn all this into copper cable. There we are. Just because we're going to end up needing it anyway. And I've already got the rubber. So we turn it all into copper cable. Beautiful. So now we're just waiting on this refined iron. And as soon as this refined iron gets done, we will go ahead and make our very first extractor. There we are. Let's go ahead and make our electric circuit. Electric circuits have absolutely no use outside of crafting. They don't do anything, although they can be kind of cool to kill zombies with. And skeletons. Where's that skeleton? Where is he? Where is he? There you go. You can kill skeletons with them. They do do that. Watch this. Look at how good it is at killing a skeleton with an electrical circuit. That is what they are good for. Look at this dude. And we can kill spiders with the electrical circuit. This is the real use of the electrical circuit. It's not for crafting. It's for killing spiders and killing skeletons. Look at, the, look at how efficient it is. It's almost like you're punching it. Only you're not. You're killing it with an electrical circuit. Alright. Come in here. 
Looks like all our refined iron's done. So we've got our electrical circuit. We now need our machine block, which is just creating a circle of the refined iron. All right. So we got this. We got this. Let's go ahead and put our tree taps up in here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we've got an extractor. An extractor is just, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. All right. Now I'm going to put my extractor right here. All right, that's where our extractor is going to go. Now, the next thing that we're going to make, the next thing, is going to be a macerator. Macerator. There we go. We need a macerator. Another machine block. Another electrical circuit. Three pieces of flint, which I don't think I have. I don't think I have the flint. I don't think I have the flint. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to go like this. Well, that wasn't very nice. Now, usually what you can do is you can throw these in a macerator, and you can get your uh, flint. As you can see, we got two there. So we only need one more. Only really need one more. So we'll get this done here real quick, and then we'll go ahead and make our macerator. And I guess, you know, kind of while I'm doing this, hold on. We can go ahead and get our refined iron up and made. So we need, for the macerator again, we need another nine pieces of refined iron. So another nine pieces of iron, just thrown back into a furnace to make, there we go, nine. Throw one more piece of coal in there, and we should be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can't get this other flint going on. Come here. Oh, no luck on those. No luck on those. All right, this time, this time we got it. There we go. That's, look what, I, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and grab that. Need the zombie, the zombie meat. It's good eating when you're, uh, when you're really hungry. All right. So let me grab this out here. We're going to make another electrical circuit. So throw this up in here. Redstone on the sides. Surrounded by copper cable. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we got another electrical circuit. Now all we have to do is we're going to need, uh, what, else? two pieces of cobble and three pieces of flint. All right. I think we can handle that. I think we can add two pieces of cobble. Here we go. Two pieces of cobble going on here. And almost done. Halfway there. Look at how slow this goes. Oh, how could you ever play vanilla Minecraft? That's just look at that. Look how look at that. It's just like mm-hmm. 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 Anyways. Here we go. One more to go. One more to go, and then we are ready to get into our macerating phase. Now, the macerator is a great machine. Like I said earlier, it basically takes your ore and it doubles it for you. That's what a macerator does. It doubles your ore. Throw this in here, throw this in here, two pieces of cobble. Actually, I think this goes like something like this. Something. And then our three pieces of flint on the top. We've got our macerator. Now, looking at these, you're like, well... They're not going to work like that. You're absolutely right. Because there's one more. One more thing that we need. We need a battery box. We don't need this to start it off. We could just hook it straight into the, the generator. But I'm going to make a battery box. Just because I think battery boxes are cool. We need three more of those uh, rechargeable batteries. Just like this. Three more rechargeable batteries. Five pieces of wooden planks and a copper cable. Alright. Alright. I can handle that. Let's go ahead and make one, two, three. There we are. Split this in half. Put this on top. There we go. Three rechargeable batteries. Keep that there. Go ahead and go like this. Go like that. We got ourselves a battery box. All right. Now comes the fun part. Now, I don't think I have... No. So I'm going to kind of dig down here. You will see why in a minute. I know I'm using my pickaxe on wood, but that's what it's designed for, really. We want it facing downwards. See how we're the... This is the power output side on this texture pack. On uh, default texture pack, it's like an orange circle is the output side. That is the side that where the power is actually going to come out of. It'll take power from any other side, but on the battery box, this is the output side. Now, all we need to do is just come straight over here. There we are. And just kind of hook up... Oh, we're low on, we're low on the cabling. We're low on the cabling. Well, that's easy enough fixed. We just need some more rubber. 
Alright. Let's go back over to our little chest here. Hmm. 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 I think it might be in this one. I think she might be... There it is. There it is. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit differently on this one. There's a different way to go ahead and uh, make rubber or make uh, cabling. First what you can do is you can just make the actual copper uninsulated cable. Now we could use this to hook up our machines as well, but uh, you don't want to. So we're just going to put a piece of rubber in here, a piece of that in there, there we go. We've got one more copper cable. So we're gonna hook up our first machine. All right, now our extractor is hooked up. So if I throw some coal in here, this is starting to generate power. You're gonna see this start charging up. There we go. We're going to throw this in here, and as you can see, the newest version of IC2, it normalizes the sound for the machines. If anybody remembers or has played IC2 in the past, basically, no one would ever have their sound turned on when you had IC2, because as soon as you started up a machine, it would blow your eardrums out. Then they put an option where you could disable it in your config files, so everybody kind of did that. And now it's finally fixed. In the newest version of IC2, it's it's the most beautiful thing in the world. You can actually have that industrial feeling while you're making your stuff. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Now, I'm going ahead and getting uh, a whole bunch of rubber here because I need to go ahead and make some new cabling. So we're just going to go ahead and get some more here. Actually, you know what? Let's just go like this. Go like this. There we are. Let's just go ahead and make that. And we're going to hook up our macerator as well. And in order to do that, it would probably help if I clear this under. Now, inputs for energy on the uh, on the machines is always any side. You can always hook it up to any side. That doesn't matter. But usually, I always hook it up to the bottom. And the only reason being is, one, because you can hide it. But secondly, and probably most importantly, is because you're us when you get to the point where you're using your logistic pipes, you're usually going to put your pipes in on the top uh, just for ease of use. So just kind of keep that in mind on how you're kind of hooking up your machines and all that type of stuff. And we'll cover that up. Cover that up. Oh, look at this. So our macerator and our extractor are kind of working over time. Now what we can do with our macerator is here we are. We'll grab some uh, ore here real quick. We'll grab like 32 iron ore because we're going to use quite a bit of iron. And we're going to throw this in here. There we go. Now what you're going to see happen... It's going to take one ore. Now, usually when you put this straight into a furnace, you put one iron ore in, you get one iron ingot out. But with the macerator, what you're going to do is you're going to put one iron ore in, one iron ore in. Jeez, I can't even speak today. And you're going to get two iron dust. Two iron dust out. Now, the iron dust you put into a furnace, and guess what you get? I bet everybody already knows. I don't even have to ask you. You're going to get two iron bars out of here. So we'll throw that in there real, real quick. Let's go ahead and go to sleep for the night. Here we are. Sleep here real quick, but beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. The next machines that we're going to make. Now, the reason I'm going to end up making another macerator. Yes, we are going to make one more macerator. And the reason behind that is because let's grab that out. We're going to go ahead and macerate one of those uh what you call? See, we got our two pieces of iron. Good to go because I need another piece of flint. So an easy way, instead of you know just chopping it up over and over again, just throw your gravel into a macerator, you're gonna get the flint out. Easy, easy peasy. Now these slots on the side here, you're probably wondering, well, what are those for? If you haven't played IC2 before, what are these little input slots on the side? There's for upgrades. You can have overclockers. You can add um, transformers and stuff like that on here that uh, allow it to input or receive more energy overclockers speed it up and all that type of stuff so there's some upgrades that you can use so we have our three pieces of flint now we just need nine more pieces of refined iron nine now the reason why i do two macerators right off the bat is uh the macerators just run damn slow they are so they're, they're just really slow they're really slow so have them running all the time uh, but you definitely want to, usually what I do is I do two macerators, I do two electrical furnaces to start off the bat, and then I do an extractor, and then after that I'll add in a compressor, because once you get the compressor, then you're looking at, you know, doing advanced machines, uh, which is an add-on uh, for IC2 to get like your rotary macerators and stuff like that. So we're going to kind of let this run here for a minute. Here we go, and this needs a little bit more coal. There we are. 
Now, you usually want to use charcoal in this instead of coal. I don't have any on me because I used all my wood building my house. But it looked good. The house looks good. But there we are. We'll get that done here. And uh, as soon as this stuff is all done here, we'll go ahead and craft this up. So I'll cut the video here just because, you know, all we're going to be doing is staring at machines for the next couple minutes. So when we come back, we'll go ahead and make our other macerator. All right. Our refined iron is all done now. So let's go ahead and make our last uh, macerator here real quick. Just go ahead and pop this in here. Two pieces of redstone. We get our electrical circuit. Go ahead and go around in a circle. There we are. Grab our machine block. So now all we need to do is grab another piece of cobble. Of course. Of course. There's always something that you forget. Always something. Here we are. We'll grab six. Just to be on the safe side. Go ahead and throw these here. Throw it. Oh my gosh. I can't even click stuff on. There we are. Where's our flint? Here it is. Grab our next macerator. And now we have two macerators. We'll throw a piece of copper cable down here. And then we can start getting the rest of our ores macerated up so that we're getting the max use or the max quantity or whatever you want to call it out of here. There we are. Beautiful. This will now charge up. This is going to store excess energy in here and then the generator is always going to be running. But we'll go ahead and grab uh, another stack of ore here. Kind of get stuff uh, macerated up. Grab this copper here. So we'll get about 128 copper out of the deal. Not too bad. Not too bad. Go ahead and throw that in there. But there we go. Uh, the extractor is all done i'll have to go get uh, some more rubber and all that type of stuff here we'll probably do that next episode and speaking of next episode ladies and gentlemen that is it for right now but don't worry don't worry you don't have to go home you just can't stay here hmm that's from a song isn't it anyways ladies and gentlemen hope you have a great rest of your day and again Please stop by the live stream if you have time. Stream every single day. This week has been like around the afternoon, around about 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. But I always put it on Twitter. But thank you all for watching and take care.